Welcome back to another episode of our Intelligent Ingredient Whiteboard Series. I'm your host, Ali Witwit, the VP of Innovation and Product Development. As some of you might know, there are some recent changes in the uh, FDA monograph, sunscreen monograph ingredients, and also uh, there was a Hawaii ban on certain chemical filters in Virgin Islands. I wanted to offer you a few uh, easy solutions and uh, how to work with zinc oxide, for example. So today's topic is reef-friendly sun care solutions. Uh, BASF offers the Z-Code series. Uh, zinc oxide, it's either coated, and that's uh, triethoxy carpolosilane, uncoated, which is great for 100% natural formulations and baby diaper rash, and now we have a dispersion. This is a 70% dispersion, uh, very minimal whitening, non-nano dispersion, so it's very easy to work with. Uh, zinc oxide is globally accepted. Uh, we do offer it in nano and non-nano, depending on your preference. Uh, zinc oxide is broad spectrum, so it's going to cover the UVA, UVB spectrum, and also the critical critical wavelength. Uh, it is uh, coral reef friendly and Virgin Islands compliant. Uh, it's non-greasy and hypoallergenic, and it is extremely photostable, the zinc oxide chemistry. Uh, I'm gonna give you some formulation tips. Uh, so maintain the pH between seven and eight. That's very critical because zinc oxide formulations, they do tend to shift pH overnight. So they're gonna go probably above eight and, and close to nine even. So in 24 hours, adjust the pH back to between seven and eight range. Um, we like to use a buffer solution, uh, usually citric acid, sodium citrate. We'll do it, um, keep it simple. Um, Use a strong chelator such as disodium EDTA or tetrasodium EDTA. Uh, those chelators do help uh, with the stability. Uh, avoid ionic and cationic emulsifiers. If you're not careful, you might run into stability issues. We recommend working with non-ionic emulsifiers and thickeners like xanthan gum, uh, hydroxyethyl uh, ethyl cellulose. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Roquette, one of our suppliers, offers a DS-112, and that's uh, xanthan gum, hydroxyethyl ethyl cellulose, and a starch, so it's a great thickener and a stabilizer. A zinc oxide, add to the oil phase, and we ask you to heat to 75 to 80 degrees and homogenize. And after you do that, you should do the spatula test. So basically you dip a stainless steel uh, spatula in the, in the batch and pull it out and look at it. So if it looks non-grainy, shiny, and glossy, it looks like thin paint, then you're ready to go. You can just finish the batch. So just make sure that the particles are fully dispersed. Uh, we talked about the buffer solution earlier. High polarity um, emollients, this is a really nice drink. So the higher the polarity emollients that you use, the higher the SPF, better the wear and less whitening on the skin, better dispersion of the particles. So uh, Hallstar does offer two, the Hallbright BHB and the Solastay S1. And if you want 100% natural, go with the Meritol 331 from BASF. If you have any other questions, please reach out to your uh, account manager or myself. And I look forward to seeing you next video. Thank you.